Hi and welcome to Peacemake TV. In today's tutorial for Lightroom, we're going to take a look at how we can make punchy black and white images by using six sliders and nothing more. We're going to use this image in front of us as the basis and I'm going to run through exactly how we do this and how quick and easy it is to get eye-catching, punchy, very high contrast black and white images. So let's take a look at how we can do all that right now. So the first thing we need to do before we touch any of those sliders is convert this image to black and white and the quickest and the simplest way to do that is open up the basics tab and choose black and white. Now we can see the tone that we're working with. So the very very first thing we're going to do before we touch any of the highlights and shadows and blacks and whites and so on is we're going to come down to one of the new tools that's available in the latest version of Lightroom and that is the dehaze tool. Now you may think that you're only going to use this for dealing with lower contrast sort of haze in an image so you've got low light or you've got a hazy misty day and you can use it for that but I found that if you use it with an image you want to work with in black and white it makes a great starting point for high contrast images so as we take that over to the right hand side we start to introduce a lot more contrast into the image I'm not gonna go crazy because we can come back in and change that anytime we want to but you can see how quick and easy it is if I a B that you'll see there's the before there's the after. So we've already introduced a considerable amount more contrast into the image. Now we're ready to move up to the basic section and we can start working with some of the other tools. So the next one I want to use is clarity. So as we start to take that over, that's going to bring up and really start to punch out the detail in our image. Again, we might be losing some of the areas, might be getting a little bit dark in some areas, but we can use the shadow and the blacks to open those back up. So that's roughly where I want to be. So like I say, the next thing we're going to do is come out to the shadows and we'll just open those up ever so slightly so we don't lose everything. Now, it isn't going to matter too much because this is already in shadow, so I'm not too bothered. The whole point is we want to get a quick starting point. And now we can start using the blacks and the whites and the highlights to balance this and punch things up. So we'll bring the highlights down so we don't lose anything. And then we'll take the whites and we'll give those a little bit more punch. And the same goes with the blacks. So we're just adjusting these six sliders to get exactly what we want. So I'm going to quickly come back to my effects section. I'm just going to give it a little bit more dehaze just to punch that up even more. Only a couple of percent. That's fine. And that's roughly where I want it to be. Now I could do more to this if I wanted to. And I would probably take a lot more time in going through and making sure that everything looks the way I want it to. I may even go in and tweak areas by using an adjustment brush. But the, for the fact we just use six simple sliders, we run through those in a matter of a minute or so as I'm talking you through it, we've already got a very, very punchy black and white image that's high in contrast that really does stand out quite nicely. So let's just compare that to the original starting point and see what we've ended up with. So I'll just come down to the compare section so we can just take a look. There's our starting point and there's what we're ending up with. A pretty high contrast punchy image. Like I say, I still come in and tweak this if I want to, just to make sure I get exactly where I want it to be. Well, I hope you found this useful. I hope it's given you an insight into how quickly you can edit and process images and get really punchy black and white images just by using six simple sliders in Lightroom. If you did find this tutorial useful, please hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all the new content we add. If you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. If you do enjoy the tutorials we put out on this channel, please consider popping over to Amazon where you can purchase the new ebook we've released on the Kindle store, Eight Essential Adobe Lightroom Techniques, where we go into detail about different techniques that every Adobe Lightroom user should really have in their arsenal. The link is in the description below and your support is much appreciated. Well, until next time, take care.